Judge Brett Kavanaugh came into that hearing room fired up, angry, emotional, repeatedly holding back tears, fiercely defending his name and his nomination. There was a big difference, though. You noticed in Terry's report, during Dr. Ford's testimony, the Republican members of the committee, all of the men, watched as the female prosecutor they retained conducted the questioning of Dr. Ford for them. When Judge Kavanaugh sat before them, they no longer held back, the Republican men joining in, and when asked afterward why question only after Dr. Ford left, Senator John Cornyn, for one, said, because it's my right as a U.S. senator. ABC's Mary Bruce tonight, right outside the hearing room on Judge Kavanaugh's forceful defense. Any message for Dr. Ford? Gripping his wife Ashley's hand, Judge Brett Kavanaugh walked past the cameras into the Senate committee. Do you affirm that the testimony you're about to give before the committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Then, in a voice filled with anger and emotion, he proclaimed himself an innocent man. The day after the allegation appeared, I told this committee that I wanted a hearing as soon as possible to clear my name. I demanded a hearing for the very next day. Unfortunately, it took the committee 10 days to get to this hearing. In those 10 long days, as was predictable and as I predicted, my family and my name have been totally and permanently destroyed <coughs> by vicious and false additional accusations. This confirmation process has become a national disgrace. Judge Kavanaugh blamed a, quote, frenzy on the left. A Democratic senator on this committee publicly, publicly referred to me as evil. Evil. Think about that word. And said that those who supported me were, quote, complicit in evil. Is it any surprise that people have been willing to do anything to make any physical threat against my family, to send any violent email to my wife, to make any kind of allegation against me and against my friends, to blow me up and take me down. He said the hearings will leave a scar on the country. This whole two-week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit, fueled with apparent pent-up anger about President Trump and the 2016 election, fear that has been unfairly stoked about my judicial record, revenge on behalf of the Clintons, and millions of dollars in money from outside left-wing opposition groups. This is a circus. Still, he vowed not to give up. I will not be intimidated into withdrawing from this process. The vile threats of violence against my family will not drive me out. You may defeat me in the final vote, but you'll never get me to quit. Never. I'm here today to tell the truth. I've never sexually assaulted anyone, not in high school, not in college, not ever. Then, choking back tears, he said he never sexually assaulted Christine Blasey Ford. I'm not questioning that Dr. Ford may have been sexually assaulted by some person in some place at some time. But I have never done this to her or to anyone. That's not who I am. It is not who I was. I am innocent of this charge. I intend no ill will to Dr. Ford and her family. The other night, Ashley and my daughter Liza said their prayers. And little Liza, all 10 years old, said to Ashley, we should pray for the woman. It's a lot of wisdom from a 10-year-old. We mean, we mean no ill will. Building his case, Judge Kavanaugh produced his evidence, calendars from the summer this assault allegedly happened. He says he was never at the party Dr. Ford described that it would have been on his calendar. A drunken early evening event of the kind she describes presumably happened on a weekend. If it was a weekend, my calendars show that I was out of town 
almost every weekend night. Judge Kavanaugh described wholesome teenage years of sports, hard work, close friendships, and church. He admits he drank, but not to the point of blacking out. If every American who drinks beer or every American who drank beer in high school is suddenly presumed guilty of sexual assault, will be an ugly new place in this country. Once again, Republicans let that veteran prosecutor, Rachel Mitchell, handle much of the questioning. Have you ever engaged in sexual behavior with Dr. Ford, even if it was consensual? No. But Democrats demanded that Judge Kavanaugh call for a full FBI investigation, something President Trump has refused to order. Why would you resist that kind of investigation? Sir, I, I welcome... I wanted the hearing last week. I'm asking about the FBI investigation. There, the committee figures out how to a ask the questions. I'll do whatever. I've been on the phone multiple times with committee counsel. I'll, I'll talk to... Judge Kavanaugh, will you support an FBI investigation do, right now? I, I will do whatever the committee wants to... Personally, do you think that's the best thing for us to do? You won't answer? Finally, Republicans who sat quietly for most of the day unloaded. If you wanted an FBI investigation, you could have come to us. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. You have interacted with professional women all your life, not one accusation. You're supposed to be Bill Cosby when you're a junior and senior in high school. And all of a sudden, you got over it. Just an incredible scene playing out all day long here. Mary, I know we're dealing with breaking news as we're on the air tonight. We've just learned the Senate Republican Conference will hold a post-hearing meeting. I know they wanted to schedule this vote for tomorrow. Any chance that still happens? And what do you know about this meeting? Well, David, that meeting has just wrapped and Republicans tell us they are moving ahead. The Judiciary Committee still plans to hold that vote tomorrow morning and top Republicans are optimistic that they have the votes. They want to vote on Kavanaugh's nomination on the Senate floor sometime next week. David. Mary Bruce live here in the Capitol with us tonight. Mary, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.